Meaning, I think, is the enemy. Experience and thought and talking to people and all that stuff is good. I like passive aggressive art. I like, I like shapes that are passive aggressive. I think like a Rorschach test is cool because it puts all of this suggestive stuff there and then when you see something evocative and fucked up and strong, then it, it just throws its arms up and says, well, you saw, you put that there. I didn't put that there. I think when people talk about abstraction, what they mean is materials that refer only to themselves. I think abstraction is impossible, actually. Even paintings that we talk about as being abstract, you kind of project figuration onto. If you're like me, you look at a Jackson Pollock painting and you see like, you know, the hippies dancing in the rain and you kind of have to complete that representation yourself and you need to commit to some position within yourself about wanting um, a picture to refer to a body. People all the time ask for permission. Is it okay that I'm seeing butts and faces? Now that I'm saying that, it's like some of them do, like they are getting more kind of overtly cartoony or they are getting more overtly figurative. There's an interesting conversation in painting about how much of the labor of making the painting is exposed versus how much is hidden. I like to make things that can look really buoyant and really kind of easy and fun and playful, but then as soon as you start to look at them, you understand that there's a greater degree of planning in them. There has to be this greater degree of planning. To come out on stage and fall and have it be funny and have it read is like this kind of supreme craft of hiding all of the work that went into this thing. And it's anyone that's ever tried to perform knows how hard it is to do something like that.